Boy, these are interesting days. These are interesting days. I had to run, make a run to the grocery store the other day, and uh, any other time you would consider it bad manners that when somebody's walking up to you, they're like, ooh. <laughs> Lisa, I mean, I don't deal with this on a regular basis, despite what some of my friends and family might think. I, uh, I, you know, it's just, it's kind of an interesting thing to think that avoidance has become good manners, has become courtesy, but it has. This is, this is a strange day. I, I'm looking at you through a lens. Oh, man, crazy. Uh, well, when it comes to Easter, Easter is a fantastic uh, time to celebrate new beginnings. It really is. It's, it's really the time to celebrate new beginnings. Um, and to make this point maybe pretty clear what kind of, what I mean by new beginnings I want to recount a story that might not surprise a whole lot of you. Or a couple of stories. When I was about five years old, my parents who live out in the country, I was biking out the driveway. And I was biking pretty fast. It was before an age where I really, even though I had been told, you know, you got to look both ways before you cross the street. We lived out in the country. And there was hardly any traffic. And I was barreling for the road. And wouldn't you know it, I bet it was just a little Miata, a little red Miata. Shoom! Goes zooming by. If I would have been three seconds sooner, I would have been clipped. I would have been totally taken out. And then years later, I was biking back from Luxembourg. Like, like I think it was the, the playground over by the church. And it was just a couple of miles away. And as I'm coming up to the top of the hill, me and my friend, we're just kind of biking all over the road. And I look, and all of a sudden, there's my mom. And she's just like slowing down her car. And she had to make very clear to me that, you know, if you don't pay attention. And then sometime after that, I'm biking around St. Cloud. And what ends up happening is as I'm biking through a parking lot, not being aware of my surroundings, all of a sudden, there's another car. I mean, I guess it wouldn't surprise you to know that one of my other siblings also got hit by a car on a bike. And then on top of that, years later, this was when I was finishing up seminary, here I am riding a motorcycle from my parents' place over to church one morning. And what happens is I wasn't thinking about technique when I came to riding on that motorcycle. And I was taking the curve really wide. Black Jeep. There I am facing down a black Jeep. And that Jeep, that driver, had to basically take the ditch halfway in order to make sure that I didn't hit him. Now, this is all pretty revealing stuff, and I'm sure is affirmation for many of you who have been telling me for some time that I shouldn't be riding motorcycle. And yet, at the same time, it's a, it's, these are moments in my life where I go, that's it. Could have all been over, just like that. Would have been all done. But it wasn't. You know? It wasn't. You know, there's something about being spared from that moment, in that moment, that it's like now you get a second chance. Now you get, how about this, now you just get a few moments longer. Even if it's just a few moments longer. You get a second chance. Maybe it's one second. Maybe it's one minute. One hour. One week. One year. One decade. You get this second chance to be who God wants you to be. To maybe be a little bit better than you've been up until now. You were dead. And now you're not. You've been given a small slice of time to do, to be what God wants you to be. When it comes to today's Easter accounts, those which were read during the Easter Vigil, or would have been read at the Easter Vigil where it was celebrated last night, to the accounts that we hear about today, these are people who are poignantly aware of the second chance that they have received in Christ. You know, Peter, Peter was, was bold and zealous, but maybe a bit misplaced in his zeal. And yet hear his words today. You know what has happened all over Judea. You know, he's speaking with confidence as an apostle now. He's almost, he's almost able to say, you know, those parts of me that maybe were less becoming of me up until now, I set him aside so that I can be Jesus Christ to the world, so that I can be his voice to the world, so that I can be his healing hand in the world. And when it comes to uh, 
St. Paul's uh, uh, recommendation, it, could it not be any better? If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above. It makes me think of a uh, homily that I gave this past Wednesday of Holy Week in which I said, you know, take an account of our life and look at the people in our life and look at the things we have and just ask ourselves, is this here for the glory of God, the building up of his church and for my sanctification? You know, that is like for the love of God and the love of others. You know, seek what is above. Let that be the guiding force in our life. And then we come to the gospel account. And what strikes me so poignantly, Mary Magdala, one who was touched in a healing way by Christ. Peter, one who was touched in a healing way by Christ. St. John, one who knew Christ and so intimate, so, so, as so great a friend that he's called the beloved disciple. You know, it's, it's such a wonderful account that we receive in Easter and such a re beautiful reminder that Christians have been given a second chance. And when I say Christians, those who believe in Christ have been given this opportunity to, to claim, claim a life that God has given them. And so it, you don't have to have a, a near-death chance. You don't have to have a near-miss you just need to have a moment beyond this in which you say, you know what, the reason that I'm, I, I can have hope is because Jesus Christ is in my life, is because of the love of God that's been poured into my heart, because of the love of God that is here in this world. And so we celebrate this Easter, we celebrate the season of second chances, and we pray for the joy of heaven that, for which we all seek.